Hi there, welcome once again to Speed Skating Deconstructed, What Makes a Skater Great. Today, out of the Dutch Championships last weekend in Heerenveen, Rem de Haar, a uh, couple top 15 finishes in that great country of speed skating. So right, up, right below the top level, and there are so many out there, so I wanted to shift the focus of the channel a bit lately to things we can learn from people, skaters who do so many things well, but just a few things might change and move their trajectory in a much more positive and fast direction. Remember, we want to get as much speed as possible out of as little work as possible, and that's how we go fast, and that's how we have good fitness on the ice and good lap times. So let's take a look. This is 1,000 meter to start. And it's competent. You know, there's nothing blastingly wrong with this, but as as he drives forward, you can tell that there's especially just, it's wide. This is wide. And the reason that's a problem is because the more this collapses, the less forward you go. So again, move earlier off this, move your mass against it, move your mass forward against this pressure. So push as hard as you can down, drive everything, including this right knee, under you and forward, okay? So make sure you do that. You, you do not want to let this collapse as much as you are. And arm swing might be tighter, closer to the hips. That will afford you to be a little more narrow and get, and not have, you know, it may just be a little wide, but that's very individual. But anyway, see how wide this is? You don't want that to slide out even early in the race. So the best guys are keeping a straighter line. I always talk about that all the time. Keep the line straight. So that's what I would work on on the opener. Nice entry here. Good position. Good blade angle. Good opening in that clap. Very nice. As the corner goes, this right skate is sliding out a little. So what you want to do with that is, again, same thing, same concept. Push down on this right as set down. Emphasis can be improved. That means you're pushing before you push and you're done before it starts. That's how you want to think. You're pushing before that skate hits. Push before set down, you'll be done before you even start and you'll be off it and you'll have much better lines here. So that's what I would say in your turn. Emphasize it earlier and move against this skate better. You can see how this right is just sliding out to nowheresville. You don't want that to happen, even on an opener. Drive down, move everything against it. One skate on the ice. Let's look at the straightaway here. Again, entries, exits, very nicely done. No delays, no transition. Best transition, no transition. Good extension, good sprinter. I mean, you could put this on a poster. You know, that's really, really nice. Good line here. Let's see what happens. Yep. So this is where REM can improve, right here. Emphasis, again, is late. Instead of coming down right here, you need to go down into the ice right here and come across faster across that blade versus coming up. You can see him come up. and let this slide out. Again, a broken line, and these are details of a highly effective skater, but these details will win races later if you fix them. So again, late emphasis means it slides out and you don't get near as much off that right as you should. So I would say both skates in the straightaway. I mean, you have nice good extension, but but where is that push going? It's going away from you and back. And And moreover, you've got much too much time with two skates on the ice. So this skate is on the ice. You've got a big conflict here. There's a straddle. You don't want to straddle anything. You want to be, it's a one skate sport, okay? No straddle. So really work on driving against this cleaner, driving this knee under your chin forward, and dropping that skate when you're done with this one. 
Don't put the skate down until you're finished with this one. That's what you want to strive for. Clean, no friction skating. Body position looks good. Nice and relaxed, but the angles can be improved because, see, this is a conflict. It may not look like it to you, but this, again, this is really nice sitting position and good extension. But in, in my opinion, it's too much time just driving this away from nothing and you don't get anything off this until, yeah, here. See, this is wide even. So because you've stayed so long with this right way back here, you don't have enough time to drive it through fast. So your push sequence as well, the, the, uh, the power out of the push is slower because you're not as fast through this hit zone. So it, it's all tied together. So let go of the push earlier, let that go earlier, so you can get on this one earlier, chin out here more, crushing down, coming across the skate really fast. You want to come across this blade really fast when you do that, this will be more under you. You'll have less collapse here, and you'll be over this skate earlier. As it is, you're kind of in the middle. Another good entry. Looks. You can tell you've been. I can tell you've been watching like Kale Nice or he's a friend of yours or something. This is really nice right here. I love your laying in the turn. Excellent. But again, we can see direction of push emphasis just doesn't look like you're getting into the ice in your turn so what I would suggest is you have reasonable timing I don't see a lot of time with two skates on the ice but I'm just not seeing that grip and drive your whole mass forward it's a very distinct thing cut off the end of the pushes put them at the beginning and you'll have better lines and you'll have better power there's still you can see that almost hip opening up out here and that's going to take away from this power you want to be a pulley, a pulley system. The left drives the right, the right drives the left. There's no, there's no separate pieces, and there's no pushing back. Remember, you're moving forward through space, so push down into the ice and move your whole body, your whole mass at one time forward through space and drop it on the skate. I think you improve if you work on those things. Also, I would say some training things maybe. Maybe you want to do more specific speed work, over speed work in that 24-second range. Yes, and then so you can sustain um, the last lap of a thousand do some uh, do some really good intervals in that space of uh, 24 8 to 25 8 and that might help your fitness on the last lap too all right hope you enjoyed this one and i will talk to you next time on speed skating deconstructed what makes a skater great